Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have received my Maxi Makes box today. Um, I'm really excited to see what this month's project is, um, our little class in a box. I'm so excited. Um, so let's get this baby open and see what's inside. Um, before I start that though, let me kind of scooch over a little bit because we got a Mr. JB um, sitting on the and look how it goes all crooked. If, you know what it is? It's because I have got the silliest um, trot pod thing. <laughs> Hi, baby. Uh, and it's, you guys, I tried getting like one that was <laughs> like small, like compact for my, de my tabletop like right here. But with the one that ended up coming was like this enormous thing. And I was like... Oh my goodness, like I didn't even really pay that much for it, but it's like a maze balls. Okay, so let me try to fix it and make us not crooked. How's that? That's better. JB, are you ready to open the Maxi Makes? You want to see what's inside, buddy? Yeah? I just bought them. Um, well, I say I bought it for them, but I probably bought it for Jimbo because he gets so crazed whenever they are scratching on the furniture. And listen, it's not that I want them to scratch on the furniture, um, but they've been doing it for so long now. And the fur it's, you know, and the thing is, is we bought this furniture before we got them. But when we got it, um, one of the perks was you can take the covers off, like completely off, and buy completely new. So you could change the entire color. I mean, depending on what they have available, but you could do that. And so I said to him, I'm like, you know, we can always replace the cover if it if it really gets so bad that it's bothering you, or if it's starting to go all the way through or something to like the base furniture. Um, anywho, <laughs> the point was I bought um, three different types of scratch posts. Now I already have like one really good one that JB will use like quite often. He's pretty good about it, but he'll use everything, but he does use that post. And I think he's like the only one who uses it. <laughs> so I had, you know, of course I've read all of the articles that say not all cats like to scratch the same way. And I will catch them like sort of scratching a little bit on the carpet that's in our closet because really we don't have very much carpet in the house. Um, basically just in the bed, uh, in the basement. And then like I said, in the, in our master closet. Other than that, it's all hardwood in our house. Um, so I don't have to worry about it too much, but I do catch a couple of them maybe even all three of them uh, in the bedroom closet, sort of like doing their little claws. So I got one that's a laying one. I got um, one that can be lounging and scratching. And then, um, and one of them that's like in this S and it's got carpet on it and sisal. So, um, yeah, so we'll have to see how they go. So I say I got it for them, but I really got it for Jim, <laughs> hoping that they'll use them. Um, you just never know. Can we get this Maxi Makes open, please? <laughs> I really want to know what's in there. JB, you're too high, baby. Nobody can see your little face. But your feet are cute. We will give you that. Okay, um, so this is what it looks like inside. Um, so let's just pull that all out. Boop. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, stuff's just falling out of there. Um, all right, so I'm going to take the sticker off. I always like to try to do it without tearing the sticker up too much. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, um, so there's this pin cushion with bracelet. It's gilt and water green. Isn't that cute? Let's put that on. I don't, I don't know that, um, let's put it this way. I don't think I would ever have bought one of these on my own, but this is kind of cool. Oops. Okay, all right, 
Yvette with the big everything. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to try to stretch it a little bit because I'm gonna kill my arm if I don't. It don't even wanna stretch. Okay, well, let me see. Should I try to just <laughs> clay up my hand? Okay, so if I were sewing, I would be sewing with my right hand, so you wanna put it on your left. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, Maxi, you must have like the smallest hands on the planet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, once it's on, I may never take this off because it's tight. <laughs> and my wrists are actually pretty small, so I don't know. I mean, I have gigantic, like, hands and stuff, but... Okay. And then we got some flower head pins. Um, let's take one. What you think, JB? What do you think about this thing? No? You don't? He's not thinking at all. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> now he's smelling it. What is it, buddy? What you think? You think mommy cray cray? Well, I'm trying to get some pins to put on here. There we go. One light blue. And one dark blue. Now, JB, don't um, don't try to eat that, okay, bud? There we go. <laughs> okay, now we have um, an Earl Grey organic tea, and we have a lovely um, spool of Guterman thread. I love this color. That's like a deep teal. It's very nice. I like it. Let's turn us a little bit now that. JB is not on top of the sewing machine no more. Now he's now now I'm crooked like this. You guys all just sit like this, okay? Or if wait if I'm like that, you might have to do this. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> JB, stop messing with all of mommy's mess. I got like so much mess up here. You don't have to rub it in, buddy. <laughs> um. Okay, so if anyone is interested, it is color number 7544. Guterman 7544, um, and it is 50 weight thread. Perfect. 100% cotton. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is this? Maxi makes subscription sewing box, November 2018. The scarf with endless possibilities. Seven way something scarf. I, I don't know what that says. Uh, what's in your box? To make two scarves, 100% cotton. Um, how do you say this? Voile? Because I know if it's T, I know you say toile if it's T O I L E. So is this voile fabric? V O I L E. I'm from the South, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so the fabrics are by Katarina Ro Kel Rochella for Art Gallery Fabrics. Oh, we got half a yard of each. Um, Mobius. What will you learn? Making a Mobius project. What is a Mobius? working with sheer fabrics and then of course we have our video um okay so here is um what we got inside with it we'll be making those scarves and one scarf endless possibilities okay um Okay, so there are good, oh, okay, so they, and there's like a, the whole thing here where it tells you what to do, but of course the video, I'm so visual, I'm, I definitely do the video every month. Um, okay, so let me just show you the fabric. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never worked with fabric like this before. Um, oh my goodness. You guys should feel this. 
Like, it's just amazing. Um, here's the fabric. That's two layers. And you can almost see through it. I mean, it's like, it's really pretty. Here it is. One layer. And it's almost, it's to me, and I'm sure this is how it is, and I just don't know. But it's like batiks where um, it's you can see the print on both sides. You guys, this feels like silk that's just amazing I, this is my favorite of the two but I actually like them both I really do um, because this the colors in it are so vibrant um, gosh I just love that look at that that is beautiful and it feels so nice like if you guys get this you're I mean you know what I mean she sends this she sends the best fabric I don't always like the prints. I mean, I'll be honest, but it it feels so nice. It is so nice. And look, here's the second one. Let me um, undo this one all the way. Oh, wow. See, look how pretty that is. See, I'm not a big flower girl. You guys know that. But there's something about how these, these are like all saturated. And I love the... Um, I love whenever they do that thing. Can you, oh, I can't explain it. Like where the colors kind of smudge into each other. Do you know what I mean? Like they kind of just smudge in there. And I like that. It almost looks like art instead of, you know, like, you know what I mean though, right? I mean, I'm not trying to say anything about anything else. I'm just saying this the way that they make this print, I really like. Okay, so it looks like we're making a couple of scarves this month. And we've got this lovely fabric, oops. And that crazy word <laughs> is, wait, I saw it in regular print, Mobius, M-O-B-I-U-S. Um, Mobius Project. Um, wow. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> this is really cool. A Mobius Project. I've never heard of that. Seven-way Mobius Scarf. Okay. Do you guys get the Maxi Makes yet? Have we got you on board? What do you think? Um about making these lovely scars. And even if like, let's say you don't like the fabric, people like love these and it doesn't look like it's all that difficult to make. Um, you just follow the instructions and it really doesn't look hard. Um, I can't wait to see the video. So um, I'm gonna go check that out. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later. Bye.